Hi everybody and welcome back to Adventures in Nordland where we develop, uh, I don't know, impossible stuff uh, using Node.js and a bunch of other tools like Fastify, Platformatic and so on and so forth. So I am very, very happy to to be back today. So here we go. We have the, 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 the chat over here. Hello. Hi. Hi folks. Hi. And yeah, uh, last week I did, so this week I did... Uh, the chat roulette stream with Salma and it was amazing like four hour and a half of streaming it was I was totally wrecked afterwards like I don't know how she does it all the time so it's it's incredible like it was super duper long like super long took us a little bit of time to get rolling but it was fantastic I'm also, I'm also drinking a coffee because otherwise I am a little bit stuck and I couldn't really get through today's stream without, I don't know, falling asleep probably on the keyboard. So, it's end of the day. And we are rock and rolling, I think. Music is sound. Hello. Hi, folks. Hi. Hi, Astro, Anna, Hub 01. I don't know. And welcome. And uh, cool, everybody. Good stuff. So I need to probably do some setup because after being on the Salma stream with Salma, she has such a much better setup than me on most cases. So I should probably improve my setup quite a lot. She was she has a very, very fancy layout and everything. So I'm very envious on things. Hello, hi. Our first setup, so yay. Anyway. So, um, what are we doing today? Okay, and this is a question for me and all of you. So, I think uh, my goal would be to um, keep going on my series of refactoring of Platformatic. At least that will be my intention. Um, but if you have any cool idea of that we can do together, that's also happy to hear them. And um, sure, okay, so that's kind of it, to be honest. Okay. And yay, we are, I think, good, good to go. I forgot I need to do a little bit of a tweet out. So let's go and, and, and promote ourselves. Um, I have kind of a good idea of what I want to do today. I was chatting about this with my colleague, Colin Hirig of the Node.js TSC, also a colleague in Platformatic. He's great, Colin. And um, we are co he was complaining about some code that I wrote, and I was complaining about the same code that I wrote a few months ago. And we were both complaining about it, and I said, I just need to get it done and refactor the thing out. So, and that's what I would do. So that's, that's essentially what we are. Keep going into that config manager journey Thing that we started last time, I think. Um, or alternative, or maybe you prefer myself to do TypeScript. I don't know, maybe you prefer myself to do TypeScript. Do you like prefer TypeScript? Because there was there was some some feedback that I received on the latest stuff. Um, so you remember a few weeks ago that we have done um, um, uh, that have done the, the contribution to add database and the maintainer of a database didn't really like what I did in there and um, he commented on the PR uh, possibly is right um, I disagree but it's right and I really want that contribution to be part of that monorepo so I don't know we can we can possibly do that later I don't know let's think about it so uh, I'm live streaming on Twitch um, while I develop a platformatic in the open okay let's go and and start the lives and the promotion area. And share now. Good. Shared. Happy days. Okay. Twitch, Twitter is done. Um, you are all here. So good. I think we can get started. As usual, when I do this, it's time to do the uh, automatic scenes switcher so start the automatic scenes switcher my good old friend the automatic scenes switcher i don't know if you like it or not but this is what makes this possible 
So happy days. Oh, um, you know, you might have noticed, but I, you see, I have cut my hair. I don't know. Do you like the hair, the new haircut? Hope you do. I know you are whole year for my, because I'm so handsome and I'm super, um, you're coming to the stream for watching me, but no, probably not. Cool. So, um, where are we? Okay. Automatic scene switcher. Here we go. So, um, this is where we are go what we are going to do today. Um, let's call it the jump start. And the problem here, okay, looking at service, in here we have a bunch of modules that are really tough. Okay, so uh, first, okay, so there are a few things that needs to change in here. So the first problem that I am, that we are, I'm aware of, is that uh, when we are loading a service like Platformatic Service here, okay, this thing, we have options that comes both via opts and then we define this decorator uh, on Platformatic. So it's this is super, super confusing because they are both in options and in the config manager. And the stuff in the config manager might be correct, while the other one might be not. So it's so hard and so hard to make a sense of it. So I'm going to go and refa start refactoring this piece first to get it into a shape that makes uh, that's better, essentially. So here is what we are going to do. Hmm. So. Here we have, hello, hi, uh, Beantris, and thank you for the follow. And I really, really need to put it as as, as a thank you on, on uh, like Salma has. It was amazing. I need to ask her how she does all those things. So. Okay. And where is it? So here we pass. Okay, this is this is the problem starts here. So we have options. Okay, the problem start create server config. Okay, and I don't want that at all. Okay, so create server config is option dot server. Good. Then we have the config manager and we don't want to assign the config manager to the options. We don't want to touch the options, to be honest. Either they have a config manager or they don't. So let's do the config manager here. No, let's call it CM. So, okay, config manager. So this is the config manager. What is this? Uh, just config before merge. I tend to. Oh. Oh my goodness. Okay, it's mostly Pino. Okay. Cool, stash, okay. Do we though? Yeah, this is fine. Well, or it's not. I don't think we need any of this now. Whoa, I like it. Okay, no need for any of that. Cool. So here, okay. This makes sense. Okay, and here we have option dot service. Okay, and option dot not option dot server. 
because what we want is um, const server options. We want server and the config manager as CM. Okay. Okay. So we have refactored that, then we are what we are doing. Okay. So Hello, I Lilo Logic 16. Welcome and thank you for the follow. So, what are we doing? Oh, Daniel Philip Johnson. Thank you for the follow too. So, and where are we with it? Um, then there is server config and we don't want that and I want to set the app okay but it's not the app this is the let's call it okay oh this is a good question this is a good this is a good question from little logic and I'm very happy to answer it in this way so do you think full stack is a myth so it depends how do you define full stack okay so is a full stack developer or it's uh, uh somebody that knows both front end back end and more things so usually that's called a generalist so if you have somebody that can develop uh, uh on the well that can develop something on the front end do the back end and maybe do even the deployment that's typically a generalist, okay? It's typically somebody that can take care of a lot of things in the stack. Now, if instead I am, but you know, you have a limited time that you can study. So if you have a, if there is a limited time of stuff that you can spend studying, how could you be, uh, you know, all the thing, know all the things and keep yourself relevant on all the things? So either you know a little bit of everything and you are kind of a generalist or you are a specialist of a certain stack or a certain technology and then you can go very deep and know that thing very 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 well so again both things are pros and cons so yes one is a jack of all trades master of nothing and the other one is a specialist so um, from time to time you can see that people that have been around in the skill in that are very senior or staff plus engineers, like senior engineers, staff plus engineers, can be you know very proficient in more than one thing. Okay, can be you know can perform at a senior level essentially on more than one technology, on more than you know both front end and back end. For example, this is possible. However, it requires a lot of experience essentially and be able to be in the field for a while. And then you can get uh, both things at the same time. So it's uh, that's essentially the reasoning behind it, to be honest. So let me just move this window around just a sec. So, okay. And sorry about it. What is it? Okay, here we go. Oh, okay. So yeah, uh, this is essentially what it is: breadth versus depth. Okay, so it's uh, you probably if you're building a company, it's uh, 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 yeah. If if you if you're starting a new company, you probably want both specialists on certain things that are core, and generalists that can take care of problems and bug and bug fi and fixers. Okay, and that's essentially what we are doing with with Platformatic. So I'm very proud with our team over there. Um, so yes, typically you want to be generically, if you're working as a developer somewhere, you want more or less to be T-shaped. So you know a little bit of everything and you're specialist on one thing or more than one thing. Okay. But if you typically end up working with big tech or some other big companies like that, you typically, you very often, you are very much specialist on something like the bigger the company is, the more, the, 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 the thinner the, the T is. So the, 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 the breath becomes lower and lower and lower, and then you want to expand your breath and so on and so forth. So it's in. So uh, I'd tell you one, what are we doing today? Today we will be, we are working on Platformatic. 
So we are keep doing stuff on, on Platformatic, also answering questions. Um, and we are uh, doing some stuff over here, okay? So... Uh, so startups tends to be more generally like in startups you want to be um, uh, you want both generalist and non-generalist at the same time to some extent um, uh, because depending on what you do so you, if you have a, a startup you typically have a core technical problem that's really very hard very very hard and then there is uh, a lot of other stuff that needs to be done and you want a specialist to tackle that harder problem and then generalist to cover everything else so okay let me do this jump app here Oh, yeah, so this is a thing from a good comment from uh, uh, James that says, I think companies try to save money by adding a so-called full stack people. And it's quite frustrating as specializing is one aspect. So, yes, I would say it's super frustrating if you are a specialist on something and they ask you more skill than what you do. Like, for example, um, I am very proficient on, on, on backend software, APIs, all sorts of things there, software architecture, cloud. I've been using the AWS since it came, since it was launched. So I probably have known all the services and tried all the things. Um, I have no search, by the way, on AWS, so I might one day take, take something. Um, but on the other end, I am like last time I did CSS. Like I started doing HTML when a CSS was not a thing. And uh, then uh, CSS launched, and then uh, CSS3 arrived, okay, at some point. But look, I didn't keep up. So I my CSS skills are very, very limited, and I can, you know, wrangle it very hardly. So, yeah, again, it's... Am I a full-stack developer? I don't know. Am I? I uh, Look, it's this is a question for, for a lot of people, yeah. Yeah, this is one of the things that the, the, is frustrating that in order to buy... So the best front-end developers are the one that knows Node. So they want to hire for Node because if they say they only hire React or Vue or whatever, they don't get the right people, essentially. And the experience of GingerStorm 998, it's very uncommon because it's uh, uh, it was out for a view role, view JS role, and ended up writing Ruby all day. Which you know, if you were telling me uh, back in two thousand and nine that I could get hired to write Ruby all day, I would have popped champagne. So, um, yay, Daniel Philip Johnson! It's 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 phenomenal. Uh, you know. Uh, um, can you help? Uh, can, never mind. Can you maintain it now? Yeah, never volunteer for everything. Okay, like if you if at a company you volunteer for something because you can do it, expect that this will become your responsibilities. Okay, I have been a manager. I am now running a company. I'm telling you this. If you vol if you tell somebody that you know something, and you can do it, now expect to be doing that. If nobody at the company can do it, okay. So this is a generic rule that uh, are. And this is a comment I often find in some of the uh, science fiction books that I typically read, that the uh, the reward for a for a job well done is another job, right? So yeah, so essentially, yeah, I love Ruby. Yeah, I love Ruby. It's a great language. Yeah. Cool. Okay. So here we need to do some magic. We need to do jump up and tell this one i think it's molokai let's check and it's um i think it's molokai not in dream uh, it's in it tomo i think it's molokai no it's groovebox sorry it's groovebox 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 
Nice. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I used to use Molokai before. I don't know why I switched to Groovebox, but I like Groovebox. So, um, here we are. So this thing, this keep override thing allows me to bypass everything, to bypass the encapsulation. So things are exposed. So now I want to move this block here. Okay. This block here in in here. Okay. As you grow older, you use Groovebox. What does Groovebox even mean? Yay. Okay. Here we go. So we have refactored this. We have set including the platformatic base object setting some stuff in it and um, and we need well this is not cannot even happen like this cannot happen like this is literally this is created within this so I could just do this is the CM and this cm dot current. Yay! Amazing. Uh, hey Jesse, uh, what uh, ID do you use or editor or anything? Yeah, I tend to use very uh, normal low tones, and usually I even have my uh, monitor set on the. Uh, low um, blue light tones, so it's even easier for my eyes to, to develop. Okay, and you, I can even lower this a little bit. Here we go, but this is probably too dark, too, a little bit too bright. No, is it good? Do you prefer this or do you prefer a lot of lights? And um, yeah, it's probably, it's probably better. But I, I, this is a little bit more chilled, you see. Okay. You can't deal with Lua. Why you need Lua? Why you need Lua? Okay. So here we have rewritten our thing. And... Um, to the jump up. Okay. And we are setting this up. Cool. So after we have done that, we need to... Oh, we have methods, functions to remove. Which, look, let's just remove the function. No, I I have customized my NeoVim with using SpaceVim and mostly just configure changing this file. And this is my wall config plus some other stuff that is whatever, but not much. Like, look, it's actually very, very simple. Yay! Amazing! I, uh, er, er, yeah, I use telescope. Yeah, I do. Like, look. I have telescope. Rodrigo. Hi, Rodrigo. Nice to meet you. Thank you for coming to the event. It was amazing. It was a blast. You could have stopped me and grabbed some Fastify stickers. Come on. If you meet me at an event, please stop me. I usually have tons of stickers to give away. I didn't find a good stickers table to place my stuff at the last meeting, at the last conference. So Cool. So here, now, this, is, this we have a problem here that I need to refactor because I'm pretty sure that now I have a problem because I now need the config manager. Config manager. And this is app platformatic config manager okay so this is and this is the const config config manager dot current oh i don't live in berlin rodrigo oh 
Oh, hi, Google Bandido. I believe your standards are quite tight as a developer. May I ask you if you ever wrote a recommendation for anyone? Ha, this is a very good answer, and I'm going to switch to this other mode to get it, to talk to you about this. So, um, if I ever wrote a recommendation for anybody, absolutely yes. I have written plenty of recommendations for everybody. In fact, uh, this is a little secret between me and you. It's a 60 people here. So it's probably, uh, you're probably having a little bit of fun yourself. So, um, the little secret is I typically write recommendations with people that I've worked on, I've worked with, and I'm very happy with, or people that are part of uh, my um, open source uh, network. So if you work with me on Node or on Fastify or on Pino, or on Platformatic and so on and so forth, there is a good chance that if you're looking for a position, I have somebody that can hire you at some point, which is great. So I actually have helped quite a few people to get a job in the course of my career. Um, some other are, um, and look, it more or less it worked. Okay, right now there is a little bit of... Uh, Rocky years, rocky times, to be honest, it's actually tough. Not a lot of good companies hiring, to be honest. At this point, everybody's having an hiring freeze. But uh, I know that, for example, Nearform is, is hiring, um, but a little bit, not a lot, but a little bit. But a lot of other companies aren't or are. Um, there is a good position at, with my friends of mine at socket.dev, uh, I think. And you should probably want to check it to, to check that if you are into security, I think. And um, yeah, no, it's great. So uh, we have a few new followers. So welcome, uh, C Mao M S Junior, I think, and and Ankit three three thousand and nine, and Federico Bikedu. Welcome to the channel. So good thing, uh, Google. Google Bandido, I will be in uh, Bologna tomorrow and Milan on next Thursday. So <laughs> look, if, if you want to meet or anything, it might be the chance. So ping me privately and we'll try to set something up. So, okay. Good question, Gra uh, Gralith. Uh, are there any cons in running Fastify in cluster and or separate worker? They are none. In fact, I'm doing running them in workers all the time. Okay. So, okay, here it's config.metrics. And we are just doing that, passing nothing deliberately. Then we have this bunch of stuff and it's not using, it's using the config. Yay, okay. Then we have these plugins. Ooh, nope, this is, needs to be config. Config plugins, okay. Plugin options, config, plugins path, config plugins of the road or of the load, and config platformatic config watch. Okay, so we have refactored, we have changed all of this stuff. Oh my goodness, like I, this code is, I wrote this code when it was really in a hurry a few months back, and I am. You know when they say you cut corners and when you uh, we work on a startup? Yeah, I cut a few corners here. It works fine, but it's just harder to, to, to... I could have written it better to begin with. So... Okay. Okay. Uh, 
Ja, okay, hier. Komm. Okay. You are also passing these in the if. Oh, yes, of course. Come on. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you very much, Rodrigo. You have been a saver. Okay. I can just pass the config here, but here where we get index. Ah, this is not needed. Oh, thank God. So I can just remove it. Okay. Yeah. Bye-bye, Google Bandido. And ping me on Twitter or anything. Happy days. Okay. Just a second. Hmm. Cool. Okay. We have all of this done. So, and CD, CD service. Okay. Moment of truth. Did we do a good job in refactoring this? Will it work? Will it crash? Will it explode? Ah. It's not passing. So it's assigned a value but never used. Deep merge. Deep merge is gone. Okay. Then and oh create server config. It's not defined. This is can just be here we go. And ooh. Yeah. Sorry, you're right. Okay. Two five seven. What is this? Oh, okay. This is going to fail badly in my face. I know, I know it, I know it, I know it. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's see. Opts. Okay, so create server config and we pass in the ops. We have removed it, we have removed this function because we don't need it. Um, we need, what we need is though, is this, okay, this thing, and so opts, so we get the config manager, yay, I Devan, uh, I, yes, I am totally using Vim, always using Vim, Vim user forever. Oh, this is, okay. Okay, this can be gone. Okay, we have the file watcher and we set the file watcher, the config manager, and this is the jump app. And then we want the server as opts. No, it's config manager current. It's not even needed, I think. Yeah, Vim plus Tmax is the perfect combo. It actually is. Okay, 278. Removed. Okay. So npx standard dash dash fix. Okay. A ops is not defined. Two zero eight. And here it's oh, it's the 
file watcher it's it can come where it come the file watcher it the file watcher can come from outside somebody can pass that in if this is so it's not ops but it's options okay oh no so yeah okay that and then 219 and this is options.server. Hi, hi, Rob. Oh, you're back. You have not been on the stream for quite some time. I'm so happy to have you back. Okay. Hello. True. And uh, we are doing some open R refactoring on Platformatic, and it's exploding in my face. Big time. Yeah, you're testing the new node testing line. Yeah, I need to migrate all of Platformatic to that stuff. Yeah, you love V20. Oh, cool. So I'm so happy that you love V20. So you stop using Jest. Can I get you to stop using Jest? Oh, plugin must be... Oops. And... Okay, wait a second. So, okay. This is root. Let's call it root. This is true by default. So it's always that. So root decorate, okay. Yay. So this is root, platformatic, fight watcher, root, platformatic, config manager, root, platformatic, config. And then I need to do um, root dot um, register app here. But the test is not passing. So spin up fastify and it start and it's build server two 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 three three two three three. Ouch. So let's let's pick one test at a time. So this is roots, my roots, and this is okay. Let's do just only true. Okay, and then we can do tap only. I really want not the node core tests. I really want them. Okay, plus gain must be a function or a promise received undefined. Nice. And it's uh, line two, 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 two. Two, 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 two. And it's here. Okay. Oh, yeah, of course. So we need to put up as jump up. Okay. It's passing. So, um... This is a good question. Uh, RV test or tap going away now yet nowadays for LTS? I don't think so. I v v v is is a great tool, especially for doing uh, browser stuff and a lot of other things like that. So I think and the tool will stay there. Uh, the reason the Node Core test, the Node Core framework, is very very much Node specific. It's also very very much. Um, uh, uh, without features, okay? Like a lot, half of the features that you have on VTest, you don't have in, Node, in the Node Core test runner. So it's probably is the ba most bare bone test experience that you can have. And you'll probably complain, oh, but this does not have enough for me. We'll probably keep up long term, but ultimately not even. Like we want to be very specific for building Node stuff. So. And VTest and other things are also support like front-end frameworks and transpiling and all those things. And we don't want support transpiling, okay? If there will ever some transpile support, it will come naturally via the new, uh, via the SM loaders. So hopefully that answered your question. So no, I don't think there is still a place for those other frameworks, more opinionated ones. Okay. The first one is passing. The second one is said that it's config is line 96. Okay, and it's crashing because that's not there. Oh. 
it's config here. Okay. Okay. 97. Okay. Oh. Okay. Okay. Ah, lot of failures. Mm. Two one two. What is what is a two one two? Two one two. Oh. Ah, okay, yeah. Yep. Let's fix it. Okay. Ah. Uh, it's failing too much. I don't like when tests are failing this much. Okay. This is a question for you. Do you prefer when I do this kind of stuff or when I develop small apps and stuff like that? What do you prefer? Because see, a bunch of you has left, so maybe it's not interesting to you at all. I don't know. Um, index 72. Okay. It's 72. And yeah. Comfy. Okay. Okay. What are you working on? Um, so I jump score. So right now I'm working on my on my on my startup. It's called Platformatic. It's an open source project too, and uh, we have. Uh, I'm doing some big refactoring on the code base, and uh, I thought people would be interested in actually seeing this stuff. So it's uh, essentially what this is about. Oh, yeah, cool. So I need to change something here. So there is an HTTPS fix and I need to do that. And if options server okay okay and we are moving somewhere i know we are getting somewhere oh it's exploding all the time exploding all the things but we only have four failing and five failing oh it's all failing oh wait we have to. Okay. Else if if option server HTTPS all these bits, then else if uh, do, 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 options server we do that. Else options server. Well, it's not passing if it's not that, so I don't care. Okay. Sorry, let test roots. Okay, test auto load. Okay. Which failing? Okay, node test course. Okay. Why is course failing so badly? Course is just failing all badly all the way. Okay. Where is course? Okay. Oh, it's comfy course. Okay. Okay. Nope. Still not good. Still no good. Do you like course, folks? Oh. 
It depends. <laughs> this is a good question. Are you a consultant, Roberto, by the way? Test course line 59. Okay. And plugin path. Sorry, what? No, not at the moment. So you say always in depends, but. Oh, but it is the test. Okay. So what the heck? So config course. Okay, uh, service oh. service course test. Okay. Course can be enabled and we just run this. Okay. Okay. And this is failing. Oh, it's undefined. How oh, it's undefined? Oh, it's inside server. Okay. What the heck I was doing? Okay. Okay. Let's see, it's all failing now, it's still all failing, but uh, we'll see how many. We were seven before, we'll see when we are at, at this point in time. Oh, uh, and the lamp for the green is started, so let's turn on the lamp, the lamp for the green. Okay, we have red. Okay, here we go. We have the lamp. The lamp. Okay. So we have a little bit more contracts behind me and we have put some pink or what color is that? Anyway, we'll see. You tell me. The force is strong with this guy. Hi, Rodrigo. Um, I'm sorry you're leaving. It's probably late. I don't know where you are in Milan. Are you still at the office? If you do, I'm sorry. Okay, so no test clients. Okay, invalid protocol.
Okay. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. We have the clients at line 24. Why the heck? Service clients test. Ah, uh, no. Service client test. Okay. 24. Oh, it's 24? Yeah, the first one. Here we go. Okay, first one done. And why the heck this is complaining? Okay. Oh. Do a two hundred and four. Cool. Oh. Oh, come on. Okay. Okay, if it's a path, we load it in this way. And we need wait. Okay. Oh no, this is config current, okay. Okay. I'm crashing badly. Okay. 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 It's passing. Here we go. Okay. Let's do it. Okay. Oh, oh, wow. Four failed. 
Good. Okay, load and reload. New test file. Okay, one is failing. Update config. Oh yeah, it's this method that I hacked. So yeah, no. Okay, still not passing. Doesn't sound good. Doesn't sound good at all. Where is it? Oh, I made a gigantic mess of my cables. It's all wrapped up around my, my seat. It's, I cannot move. I just want to show you, but it will be a little bit tight with the cables, so. Again, even more cables to be tied off. Oh, my brain is melting. Okay, so here it's not working as expected. Yeah, I. Okay. Which one is failing? Uh, update config. Okay, this one. Okay. And then choo choo. <clears throat> okay, it's not passing through here. Is not passing the loading this module, so there is there's something something odd into the logic that loads a plugin. Okay. Okay, let's try to see to make some sense of this. Because it makes no sense.
Hmm. What the heck? Few, few, a few years ago, there was a startup called a company called And Yet, and they had a fantastic T-shirt in, in, in uh, which was written "What the heck?" And yet, ah, uh, look, good times. Okay. Okay. How come? Okay, this is not. Okay. way better now still not working but at least simpler right okay why the heck Okay. Okay. Just a second, sorry folks. This is becoming way problematic. How did I put myself into this spot? It's it's incredible. I just need to do this. Look, I'm just unplugging it. And I need to. Okay. And here we go. Sorry about this. I ended up having to untangle my... Look, it was... Hey, I'm back. Sorry, it was a mess. I undefined X. Undefined X. Welcome to the channel. Okay. So... 
Hey. Currently fighting with a unit test that doesn't want to be wrangled. Hi, from Brazil. Yeah, cool. Where in Brazil? I have quite a few friends in Brazil at this point. So, okay. Here. This is a start. This is, we don't need this because we already have the config manager. So, this is the CM, okay. Okay. I'm from Italy. Okay. So restart. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. Okay. Okay. Let's remove these things. These things are not should not be needed. Okay. So lib ah let's do that it is the way sir lib utils okay 22 let's just stop this oh yeah no we want this we actually want this no We want this to be and it's in where do we need to add this? I'll just do oh oversimplifying. Let's call it config. Here it's the config. This is the config. And here is the config. This is the config. Okay. Okay. And here add just add logger to the config server config okay cool and it's not needed to do it here so ops ops is const restart ops i'm refactoring i level i'm refactoring the startup logic of um platformatic and it's currently a huge mess and uh, i am trying to untangle it make it more less buggy and more extensible for other stuff that will happen later so hopefully that is the case so cm dot update Oh, other stuff. Um, so what I'm developing is I want to have a single platformatic start command that you can use to start a whole platformatic app. So, and part of this refactoring and this simplification, it's in um, a requirement for that bit uh, because right now touching this code to implement the stuff, it's, to be honest, impossible. So every single time takes forever to do anything. So we need to uh, I need to refactor this mess, clean it up a lot. Uh, no, it's more to start up. So right now you do platformatic DB start or platformatic service start, and they just want to do platformatic start. 
and based on the config file, it starts the right thing without duplicating a huge bunch of code and creating a, co a, a, a mess. So, and this is, oh, yeah, so that's what I'm doing. Uh, the problem is that right now this code base is lit a little bit of a mess, as I said, in, in that sense, and I need to refactor it so that it's, uh, um, it's very reliable. Okay, and um, now what I need to open, because I don't remember, is pack is config index. Okay. And here we have an update new config. Okay. Okay. So. Ouch. This needs to be an async method now. It needs to be. CM update opts. And this needs to be awaited. Cool. Yes! Amazing. No, it's failing. It's failing. Didn't work. Um, CA, is CA a good choice for test coverage when using node test, right? So it's the only choice that you have right now. Uh, Colin, my colleague Colin Keery, is currently working um uh it's currently working to fix it so to implement something in core for it and alev is asking how to pass the whole config to update method or just about no you need to pass the whole config and it will update it But to be honest, I don't think I need to do that this year. So I'll just. No, logger. I'm going to remove this, add logger to the config, and then. Okay. We'll see how to get that rolling later. Hello world, welcome to Blockformatic. Please visit Blockformatic and it's not working. It's not restarting. So console log opts. Okay. It's plugins path. Or here. Ah, he didn't. It didn't. Oh, because if not this, so validate what is doing validate. Okay, validate is validation errors so throw invalid config validation errors okay Okay, invalid config. It's true, it's invalid config. And a label was right. A label is always right for some reason. I don't know. This is 
because we are validating the config now. So fatality. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know. So update config and we really need to pass it all. Yeah. Ouch. Only. Okay. Here you go. Which one is failing now? Which one is not okay? The test is 292. 292. Okay, this one. What is happening here? So we have the config. We delete the server here. Okay, server should be available after a compromised plugin. I CM Griffin, I, I follow you in on, on I follow you on Twitch. Hello, how are you doing today? It's morning for you. It's actually uh, um, uh, ten minutes to seven p.m. here, so it's it's tough. And I had a little bit moment of a crisis moment before. Ah, uh, yeah, it's tired end of the day. So, um, good question, Alevo. Is platform integration with tracing? It's something that I should be implementing soon. We don't have them right now. And, um, yeah, time zones are uh, really bad. Um, CM Griffin, it's really, really bad. And really, really bad. So, here it's actually... I need to have rejects. Yeah. And this is a change. Okay. Still failing. Two for eight. Wait. Oh yeah, you can. You can help me with the tracing implementation. That would be really cool to do together. And it's oh two nine two. Sorry, why two nine two? I already saw two nine two. Oh yeah, this is wrong. I need to move this and do a white here. Okay, so great. Okay, yeah. Uh, I don't know when I need to get. I can need to get started at some point. It's probably going to be in the summer or probably even in. Um, in fall, I don't really know when I will get to it, but I will eventually. I um, it has been postponed quite a few times. Uh, part of it, the story is hotel for Node is not great, and I might have to actually fix it so to get it rolling. Okay, so here this has registered this. Okay. Okay. Uh, priority. Yeah, that's bad, as you can see, but okay. Okay, we have else check. Okay. Oh, ouch. Okay. Here, here we go. 
Only true. Look, it's so okay. Yes. Yes, CM Griffin. It absolutely yes. It's absolutely yes. You got it. There is a lot of reference of um uh, of a lot of things in platformatic marketing. And if you can spot them, yeah, you know, that you'll have a little bit more moment of fun. But yes, absolutely. Um so it's uh, yeah. Thank you for for noticing. This was actually amazing to s not all, not everybody would have would have got that. Ah. So Nope. Okay. Here we go. Um Yep, yeah, it's not working. Why it's not working? Oh, because Oh, it's else check. <sighs> okay. Yeah, it's config. Nope. It's config dot server. Yep. Const else check. Okay, let's do that. And it's lcheck.fn. Okay. Yay! Okay. Okay. So if you don't know what is this thing, so else check runs a query on the DB in platformatic DB. Yes, it does. In uh, um, here, no, because platformatic server does do not have a DB. So yay, unfortunately. Okay. Oh, VS Code started following me. Amazing! It's still failing all big time. Matrix HTTPS. Let's fix HTTPS. Node test HTTPS. What? I ate it. VS Code. Yeah, yeah, yeah. VS Code is following me. It's, it's a sub subscribe to the channel. So I don't know if VS Code is actually VS Code. But it's, it's somebody that's called VS Code. And it's subscribed. I don't hate VS Code. VS Code is great. I just don't use it. Okay, reading cert. Reading cert. Ouch. Okay. I can move. Wait a second. Nah. I can take this and move this at the top. Okay. Oh, the Microsoft team is involved in Twitch. Really? I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Okay. Still nothing. I might have to open this file. What line is failing? 48. 48, okay. So, confirmation current server. Console log. Server app platformatic config manager current. And I want JSON stringify. No, sure. Okay. Let's see. Look, this seems to be here. Yeah, seems to be there. So let's do that. 
and Oh, this is undefined. Okay. Where are we setting this? So it's set on... Oh, it's set inside the server. What? Yay, no, this is should not be done. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, he's simplifying this code quite a lot. Okay. Oh. Ah. Sounds nice. Done a good job. Oh. So it's failing at the validation, but I can just cheat that and run it after. Cool. Can do this in here and server config. Okay. Server config. Yay, wind of solitaire. Okay. Forty nine. Oh, yeah, um, I don't think that would be that, it would be a path, because I, I think that would be, yeah, that's what I did, so uh, a level, I created a config builder. And then I completely sidestep half of it because when in after I created this code and I never finished the refactoring. So, so we have a config builder in here. Index.js. Here, this config file is the config manager. And some of the stuff should be in there probably at some point. But right now I'm just trying to clean up this mess. So... Okay, just a second. So help in, no, not schema. In lib schema.js, uh, HTTPS. Oh, HTTPS. Okay, path is absolute already. Okay. Um, okay, this is strings of object and this is not going to be that here this is it's not going to be absolute and um, this can go I would have to say no need for that because this test should work it didn't. Okay. Server config. Okay, we have, oh no, 
So here, sorry, what? We have this, and in the key, we have the third, perfect. So the server config is correct. And it's not fastify lib server. Protocol port host name key cert. Okay, let's run that. Yeah, this is not going well. Where is this pass through? Build server. Here. Hey, Guillermo Rodas, welcome. Okay. Okay. <sighs> so we are redoing this massive refactoring and Oh, yay, no, this is wrong. Okay. Okay, I know the problem. F key shirt delete. Oh no, but I don't need to do anything. Oh yeah, delete. Server config HTTPS. Okay. It's passing now. Ooh. Ah yeah, just one test left, but I just removed that. So that is. I removed it, so that's fine. Okay. Takes 10 seconds for this test to finish. Five seconds. Why? Okay. Okay, refactor that, let's see why it's absolute. Okay. Yay, removing stuff. Okay, running things. Oh, Matrix is failing, okay. No test metrics. Okay. All sorts of things are failing now. So Matrix is completely gone. Okay. Oh. Config Matrix. Of course. It was gone. But still not still not working. Hi Naxodev, thank you for subscribing to the channel. E, let me see what's in config matrix. Lib matrix plugin. Ah 
Yeah, but this is. Seems good. Oh, I'm. Uh, this is. Uh, uh, Matrix is for. It's all Prometheus Matrix. It's fa the Fastify Matrix plugin. So it's all set up to uh, configure that correctly. So. But it set up the way the uh, um, uh, Prometheus team like it, so it runs on a separate port. So it has a separate Fastify instance that get run. Okay. So this is makes no sense. It's true. So. Matrix plugin, okay. Because that's what Prometheus said he wants. He wants you to run this thing on another port. Oh. What did I do? Okay. This is not coming in. Ah, come on, am I stupid here? Okay, it's fine. It's totally fine. Okay, and... Okay. Removing that. Here we go. And... It's, uh, look, it, let's look at Prometheus. Ooh. Yeah, this is there, okay. So if you look at Prometheus, here, in getting started, okay, you, um, concepts, I think it's, no, it's introduction, okay, um, design documents, no, where is it, overview. Okay. It's uh, what is written. It's written in mm. wait a second, port. Nineteen ninety. It's even written that the default port for Prometheus is nineteen ninety. Okay. Look here. Okay. It's Prometheus exposed itself on pro of nineteen ninety. So basically, you target nineteen ninety. And that's it. I don't know why. Like, this is what they say to do. You expose your metrics on a different port so that it's outside of the main network, I guess. But yeah, yeah, you can definitely talk, configure it to target any port. Yeah, of course. Okay, here we go. Can we get it to pass? Okay, here we go. Who is failing? The clients. Oh, routes. Oh, no, but that's 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 not what he wants. So clients. Okay. Node test clients. Okay. TS config not found. What? Okay, let's close this thing. Too many things open. 
service test and we go look at this file called platformatics yeah, this is the yeah that's so here line 80 okay Oh, the full path. This is in the config manager. Yeah, okay. Great. Okay. Yeah, this is routes. This is not a big problem. Let's see what if the others are passing. Hi, John DiResta. Welcome as a subscriber. How are you doing tonight? Or today? Hello, 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 hello. We are currently running tests and tests. I typically, in this stream, I typically do tests for some reason. Okay, start. Couldn't start server. Plugin options. Okay. I think we've done a good pro some good progress today. So, um, just wanted to reach uh, uh, 1,300 followers here. I don't know. You can I don't know, tell people to subscribe. Anyway, I'm joking. Um, so, all good. What about you? No, things are good good here. Um, if those tests will pass be passing, I would be way, way happier. And But we can get it going. Clean start. What is getting stuck here? Seems some test is getting stuck. And I don't think we're going to finish this because at very few minutes I will need to go and uh, feed my daughter. So probably Yeah. So yeah, oh, cold and start server. Okay, plugin options. Okay, let's see. This is client start CLI start plugin options only true. Okay, so we can see what's happening here. And here we can do child, uh, std out, pipe, process td out, and uh, std uh, out, stdr, stdr dash g. Okay. Oh, no. Okay, cool. Oh, no, we want tap only one. Doesn't seem this starts at all. Okay. So helper. So these are useless. I need to go into helper. No, here. Is that new Vim? Yes, plus space Vim. Okay. Okay. I also need to pipe std out. Let's see what std out tell me. It will tell me something. It should tell me something. So, okay, down, down, fixture, down, down, fixture, here, options. Okay. Let's do it. So, node, 
service.mjs. Well, push the oh, node service.js start dash c um, fixture options platformatic service.yaml. It's not printing anything because. Oh, wait. I know the problem. Because we have removed that login configuration that I was saying that was not really needed before. So, where is it? Add loader to the config. Bye, Alevo. Was great to have you here. Okay, in here we need to do that. Add logger to the config, server config. Okay. Okay. This seems better. This is passing. Okay. Okay. And I need to go back to helper and remove this. Okay. Here we go. It's running. Watch. I might have refactored this. It might be working. Oh my goodness. If it do, if it does. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this gets stuck. It's not passing. And we can get it done. What is the first tech test on, on the watch? Sir. See, I watch. Okay. Oh, yeah. It's still the helper stuff. And we need that. Okay. Okay. And... Um, should watch JS files by default. Why? Okay. Oh, wait a second. Oh, it's starting five in parallel. Damn. Okay. That's why this is our to debug. Okay. Okay. Forty eight. Steady out. I really want to get this going, but this is hard, man. It's hard. Nothing. Nothing and more, more of nothing. Why is nothing and more of nothing? Well, let's copy this up. Okay. It says server listening. <clears throat> okay. And then it's not logging reloaded, which is the file that we are rewriting. Okay.
Okay. Oh, wait a second. I need... <laughs> I know. I cancelled that. So... I need to do this too. Restart opts. Okay. It's working now. Okay. Done that. Here we go. And it's passing now. We need to cancel some stuff. Here we go on the helper.mjs and comment and remove this line. Yay, thank you. Thank you. Bobby La Charu, thank you very much. And a huge amount of huge amount of logs, which should not, I was not expecting. So there's probably something not working. The matrix is there, yeah, yeah. But look, we are getting there. Cool, okay. Oh, no test autoload. Okay. This is an error. So you and hard to debug with all of this stuff. How can I slog in too much? Was knocking lot locking like that before, but this is passing. Sorry, this was passing. Why this was said was not passing before. Ah. Big question. Okay. Um, uh, hello, welcome, Sergeanter, and you are a follower number 1,300. And with that, I thank you very much for joining, but I really need to go for dinner now. And it was such a pleasure to be here with you tonight. So thank you very much. And let's see if there is... Yay, thank you. If there is somebody to we can ride here. Or not, we want to run somebody. You should know. Let's leave it. Let's leave it at that. And uh, um, it's good. Thank you very much for joining. And you know, see you next uh, week on Thursday, I think, um, or maybe not. I don't think I'm going to be streaming next week, unfortunately. So it's. Uh, I'm so sorry about this. Sorry, I um, need to stop the auto switcher. And here we go. I need to put it on a button. And um, so, yeah, I don't think I'm going to stream next week. So uh, hopefully I will, we will see a PR out of this work later on. And um, I'm traveling. Then I am traveling and more traveling. Maybe I will stream a different day. Maybe on Wednesday I can do it or Friday. We'll see. Or in the morning, maybe. Who knows? Okay. So um, definitely not at this time. It would be amazing to, to chat with you, though. So let me know if you have any questions and we'll be available on Twitter or anything else. So things are moving and hopefully you like what we'll be cooking at Platformatic. So thank you very much for joining and see you, uh, and see you next time. Bye-bye.